look at what happens when we type the word ninja. So a ton of Mary's books. Why is she at the top of every single search phrase around ninja books? because she advertises with Amazon. If you have a, a very unprofessional cover that looks like a child created it and it just is not attractive, you're probably not gonna get any clicks on it. You're gonna lose people, so you'll end up paying for a bunch of clicks. The whole goal is to get seen because if people cannot see your book, they can't buy your book. Today's session is dedicated to an introduction to Amazon ads. So this is kind of walk through an introduction for those that want to get started and learn more about putting ads together on Amazon and driving sales through Amazon ads. So similar to like Google ads or Facebook ads, those platforms allow you to create an ad and you're trying to capture people's attention while they're scrolling. And the goal is to drive them to your listing and sell your product. So when you sign up for Amazon ads, you are putting together a listing and Amazon's goal is to make a really wonderful experience for their customers. They're searching for anti-bullying books. And I want that attention to come my way. I want my ads to be put out there for people. Then by targeting that phrase and by having Amazon ads, they're gonna know the type of phrases that apply to my book and they get better and better and better with that the longer that they serve my ads. We're using this platform of Amazon to bring people to our books. And when you first list a book, they're indexing you on certain things like your title, your subtitle, the seven keyword phrases that you list. But with Amazon ads, you get to target in much more broadly. For example, when you first set up your book, you're, you're allowed seven keyword phrases and they can't be titles of other books or other authors because it's very specific what you're allowed to put there. You can't use words like best-selling books, award-winning books. They don't allow you to use the, those types of phrases. But when you go into the ad platform, you can target anybody and you can drive people to your ad once you get there. Here, I brought up ninja books because I've been doing some work with Mary Nin, who is the queen of ninja books. Look at what happens when we type the word ninja. So a ton of Mary's books. Why is she at the top of every single search phrase around ninja books? Because she advertises with Amazon. And you can see this is what you call a sponsored brand ad. That means that these are ads that the person that's selling the product has decided to pay to have those ads placed in front of you. So when you are signing up to choose keywords and phrases and they put your ad in front of people who are searching for those things, it doesn't cost you anything. Where the cost comes in is when somebody clicks on your ad. When somebody clicks on your ad and now they're here in the listing, now they have an option to look at what you've got in your ad and decide if they want to purchase. So if they purchase, that's called a conversion, right? They clicked and we paid, let's just say that click cost this individual 50 cents. And then it turns into a purchase of this $11.63 book. So they basically paid 50 cents to have me purchase a $12 book. Now let's think about what happens from Amazon's perspective. If somebody clicks on your cover, Amazon says, oh, that's a highly relevant keyword. So I will show her book more often when people search for that term. So when they get to the page and they decide to purchase that book, now they've converted. So it makes money for the author. It makes money for Amazon. 
So now that elevates Amazon's feelings of, oh, now this book is highly relevant. It's converting. So their algorithm wants to put you out there more because they want to serve things up to their customers that are going to be really good for them. And they're going to convert that they're going to find what they're looking for. And it doesn't hurt that it makes Amazon money and it makes you money. At the beginning, we need to earn the right to be viewed and seen earlier on in our searches. And that's what we call by indexing. We want Amazon to index us for certain words. We want to pay for a higher positioning. The whole goal is to get seen because if people cannot see your book, they can't buy your book. There's millions and millions and millions of people always searching for things on Amazon to buy. So we want to make sure that we get our book in front of people. The way that I get into the Amazon ad area is once you're logged into KDP, when you go to the right of your KDP, you can choose promote and advertise. And you'll come to the campaign listing here. So you choose, you know, for me, it's .com. If you're in Canada, it's .ca or whatever. And you can click create an ad campaign and you can start working on an ad. So it kind of puts you into campaign mode and picking a campaign. You can go over here and just look at your campaigns instead of setting up an ad. This is what I would call the ad dashboard or AMS dashboard. So the other way that you can get more quickly and more directly into this is if you're logged into KDP and you just click the new tab, you can do ams.amazon.com or you could use advertising.amazon.com and they will jump you into the Amazon advertising. Now I'm just going to click sign in and I say, I want to get to the advertising console. And because I'm already signed into KDP, it just jumps me to the advertising console for this particular book. This console here is customizable. There's different types of data that you can collect. And this console is very interactive. So if, if I wanted to say, show me the number of orders by the number of sales. So you see how it changes the graph a little bit. You can customize and depend depending on what you want to look at. Now what I'm going to do is create a new campaign. So these are the few different types of ads that you have available to you when you are a KDP user. So since most of us are going to spend much of our ad budget on these types of ads here, the sponsored products, I'm going to start with that and then I'll bump into sponsored brands and show you what some of this looks like. So all you have to do once you've got a new ad going is click continue. And this is the process here to create a campaign. Have a naming convention because when you're looking at your ads three months from now, it's really helpful to understand what you're looking at. So it kind of shows me when I'm looking at this, I know what book. I know what kind of ad, I know the bid price that I started with, and the date that I created the ad. You can have any kind of ad convention that you want, but do have something. They also have an opportunity here to select a portfolio. In general, the portfolio is a way of keeping all related ads underneath one umbrella. And with portfolios, you can also set a spending limit, for example, to say, I'm willing to spend a certain amount per month on my ad. And then once it gets to that point, it'll shut off. Daily budget is the amount you're willing to spend on this campaign each day. As long as you've got a cap on your budget for your portfolio, if your ads start to spend a lot, you still have that fail safe of, hey, I don't want to spend any more than whatever your monthly budget is. Now, automatic basically means we're going to put this in the hands of Amazon. Amazon knows its buyers. It knows what they like, what their spending habits are, what their interests are. And it also knows a lot about our book. And so Amazon will use all of that information and they'll start serving things up. We're allowing the Amazon algorithm to figure it out. The more that Amazon learns about our book, the better those automatic ads will do.
Now, the campaign bidding strategy, we have dynamic bids, down only, we've got up and down, and fixed bids. So I'm just going to leave it with down only. And then you have an option with regard to a custom text ad or standard ad. If you don't care to add any extra text, you can just leave it as standard. Now we're looking at the default bid. Now, when I started this ad, I said I was gonna do a 52 cent bid. If you skip over this, they always suggest a lot more than I typically use as a starting bid. So I don't accept their defaults and I just kind of go through and skip over adding anything extra or according to their suggestions. So I wanna talk about what a bid is. So you're saying basically with this statement here, we're willing to pay up to 52 cents for a click. So just because I'm willing to spend 52 cents a bid doesn't mean that I won't get it for 32 cents. It's going to vary based on the keyword search term. There's the section that allows you to put negative keywords in. So if you have some words that don't work well for you or words that you don't want to be associated with or product that doesn't work well for you, you can enter that information here. And what that means to Amazon's ads is don't serve my ad up for this word or that phrase. So remember I told you that these custom text ads allow us to put a little bit of custom text. You can use this kind of thing, use ads to test out different ad text. Maybe one will speak to people more than another, test out different hooks and different things that perhaps will get some good clicks. One of the things that I also want to take a second to talk about is when you're doing ads, you want to make sure you have a beautiful cover. If you have a very unprofessional cover that looks like a child created it and it just is not attractive, you're probably not going to get any clicks on it or people just aren't going to buy it. So don't invest money in ads, invest in going back and reworking your cover. And the other part of it is if the interior of your page doesn't have a good hook, doesn't have an attractive listing that gets their attention, you're going to lose people. So you'll end up paying for a bunch of clicks. So you want to make sure that those fundamentals are in place before you start spending a bunch of money on ads. So I'm going to click to launch this campaign. And now I'm going to go back to the campaign manager. And we'll see here the automatic that I just put in um, and it delivers right away. It's going to go through and start serving up that ad. I'm going to go now to create a new campaign here and I'm going to go back to this sponsored product again because there's some other types of ads. Remember, we started with an automatic ad over here. There are a number of different things you can do with manual targeting that I also wanted to kind of bring to your attention. This time, now I have the choice between keywords or products. And I'm going to just use this opportunity to show both of these options. So there are tools you can use to come up with keywords. And I use Publisher Rocket. I also use Helium. But there are some things that you can also use yourself as well. So for example, if I'm in Amazon, as we're typing words here, just like Google does, it gives you some common search phrases. You can use this to come up with some keyword phrases manually. When we look for crochet books, take a look over here, 10,000 results for crochet books. That tells me there's a lot of competition for that keyword phrase. Now, if I go back and choose one of the others, so here's crochet books, Patterns Amigurumi, 928 results. So now that's a lot less competitive, right? We're going to pay less money for that keyword. And there's a lot less people that we're going to have to fight with to try to get the keywords. My best case scenario would be get it down to 650 or less. Another great thing that you can do manually, and you don't need anybody else to do it for you, is search for a term that you really want to be listed under and take a look at who is showing up on that first page. A keyword could be a title of a book. It could be the name of an author. You can see there's a lot of things we can do with that here. 
This is Publisher Rocket, which is a tool by Dave Chesson at Kindlepreneur. And it has this feature, AMS keyword search. So if I type in books about trains and I click go get them rocket, watch what this does. So it, it takes all these things and then it goes through and gets all the train books. All of the books that are indexed for these keywords, the author names, the ASIN numbers, and all of this is all pulled together for you where you can take now this big keyword list, export it, and I'll save it down. And now I can open this up, copy the keywords and use that for my AMS ads. So tools like this are amazing. I do have a link to the tool itself for anybody that wants to purchase it. I think it's like under a hundred dollars, not a monthly fee. I love Publisher Rocket. I love Dave Chesson and all the things that they do at Kindlepreneur. So I did partner and I do have an affiliate link that I'll put in, in the description for this video. It's a great resource and it has a lot more than just this. Now I'm just gonna highlight all of this. Now here's 152 keywords that I can use. I go back to my ads here. I'm going to click on enter list over here. I'm going to go manually put a custom bid for the 52 cents. And then I'm going to paste the list here of the different keywords that I just copied from the tool. I'll go over what is broad, what is phrase, and what is exact. Books about trains. So if we were saying like, let's move that over and make it broad, then books about trains could also be served up for things that say books about a number of other topics, right? Because the words books and about would be in the search term. So it would be very broad. It casts a very wide net. It can also be very expensive because you're serving up for things that may really not apply to your book. And so you might be paying for clicks that don't really convert. So let's talk about the difference between phrase and exact. So let's look at books about trains. If I say phrase, it's gonna use the keyword or the phrase books about trains, as long as that those three words are in a search term. And if you have extra words besides my phrase, it will still serve up. If I say books about trains exact, then I'm saying if it's not exact match for this phrase that I'm using here, then don't serve me up for it. Only those that match exactly. In a situation like this, where I've gotten some keyword phrases that relate to trains, I would check off phrase. I make sure that I've got the custom bid and then I click add keywords. Now, one of the things that happens, if you see things get left behind over here, Amazon does not like punctuation. So commas need to be removed. So any duplicates, it won't move over. It only wants it once in the list then I would just delete that and then add again. And anything else that's left, if it doesn't have any punctuation, it's just duplicated. It's already there. So I would go off with that. I wanna show you one thing here. You'll see suggested. And what this does is it shows you some things that Amazon thinks really applies to your book. How would they know? Well, they know what categories you're in. They know your titles. They know how many people that have been clicking on things. So when you've got a history of running ads with Amazon, it shows you some of your most popular things or things people search for that are highly relevant to your book. So you can look and see if Amazon has anything recommended that you might want to target as well. And when it moves it over, it's going to move it over with the bid that I have here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove everything and I'm gonna go through and change instead of keyword, I wanna show you product targeting instead. So you can target specific products, which just a different way of approaching things. So I like to do one product ad, one category ad, one keyword ad, one automatic ad. So you got four or five ads going and you just see what happens and you monitor and you optimize those as you go. Now we're in the product section. So again, I'm putting the 52 cents 
and I can choose categories or I can choose individual products. Now, when I go to the individual product tab, just like we did with keywords, Amazon has some suggestions. I can also do a search for something like horse books, right? So if I wanted to browse through these and say, oh yeah, I'll target that one. You can look at the star rating, you can see the price and you might decide, hey, I wanna target this one, this one, this one. Now remember, I had this list over here that we came up from Dave Chesson's tool, right? And one of the columns that it has is ASIN numbers. You can grab those and you can type in the ASIN. An ASIN, just for those that are not familiar with that term, it's the Amazon ID for that book. And if we come in and we know that there's a list of horse books already, why not just paste them in here? Because now we've got all of these and we don't have to do searching and all that other stuff. It's just already there, ready to go. I can go here to categories. I can search for a word like horse and then browse what categories come up. The other thing that you might not consider or think about is, wow, there are like saddles and horse hoof picks. People that are horse people are going to go into this category and be searching for horse things. So you could even target that because maybe if they're looking for one thing and your book pops up that's highly relevant or it's a great complement to what they're looking for, that's a great way of, oh, wow, look at that book. I, I would like that too because you already know this is a horse lover. If they have kids, they might click on the book. What if they don't click on it? it doesn't cost you a penny because it's just an impression that doesn't get any clicks, right? So it's just showing your book. You can think about targeting specific books or specific categories that are related directly to where you have placed your book. So these are great opportunities to think a little bit out of the box on the types of ads that you might run. When you first start ads, don't think that you're going to start making a profit right away. If you can break even for the first month or two and what you spend and what you make are relatively the same, it's an investment. It costs you a little bit because the more that you put your book in front of people, the more Amazon learns about your content, the more you tweak, adjust, and scale your ads, it's going to grow you to a point where you're going to be able to see some amazing things happening. But it takes a couple months to get there. So we'll look at lifetime performance here. Okay, so the orders were low in August. September, they were a little higher. Her impressions were, were lower. We're seeing a lot more impressions and a lot more orders as we go. It's over time that you're going to see the profitability. So spending $1,100 and sales of $4,200 is amazing, right? I mean, it's, I'll spend a dollar to make three or four any day. Over time, as you're running these ads, you're going to see more productivity. Dave Chesson visited my author work group and did a session with us. He's the creator of that Publisher Rocket. If you haven't checked out that session, you can go to my YouTube, it's public. You can search Dave Chesson and you'll see a couple of sessions with him. He talked about one author that he was helping who had a dog book. And one of the keywords that came up was a movie, a dog movie, and it was performing really well. So they said, gee, I wonder what that's all about. Like, I would have never targeted a dog, like DVD or movie. Um, but then they said, let's try this. So they got an idea, let's create a new ad and just put all kinds of dog movies into it. The thing soared, it was amazing. So as you continue to dig in and see what's working, you're gonna get new ideas. You'll get Amazon suggestions. You'll get other things that make you want to move forward. It's basically a learning process, a lot of trial and error. You might try some types of ads that just don't work well, other ads that work phenomenally well. It's part of spending a little money to learn a little. And then from there, if you're patient, you're gonna see some amazing results over time.